On today's episode of Rabbit Donkey Outdoors, we catch the largest fish of the season, we trap a load of hogs, we help feed over 100 people, and make lots of new friends. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another Rabbit Donkey Outdoors video. As always, I'm Bobby Middlefinger. Today, we're on a piece of property that we trapped on um, right before springtime and we got a load of hogs off of this property. The property owner called me about two weeks ago and said that he was bush hogging this area and hogs just scattered. They ran everywhere. So he's asked us to come back and see if we can catch some more for him before deer season starts. We've had some rain last night. We're supposed to have some more rain for the next couple of days. And I mean, we're very thankful for it because it has been so dry here that the cows are producing evaporated milk. Uh, so it's a, it's a blessing to have the rain and hopefully they get the hogs up on their feet and they'll come into our trap and we'll drop the door on them. I got it set up, I got it baited up. I got to hang the cameras and we're gonna get out of here. Y'all hang out with me while I hang the cameras and uh, set the door drop up. Door set, we're gonna do a test on the door. Uh, make sure it drops before we leave here. Nothing worse than uh, getting back to the house, to the shop, wherever you're at, and um, observing what's coming in and out and try to do a door drop, and the door don't drop. I mean, that sucks when that happens. So I'm gonna make sure it does drop before I leave here. All right, and there it is, it does work. So uh, we got a good signal here. And we're gonna load on up and get out of here. As you see, man, it is so humid here. I'm soaking wet, so let's go to the house and get a shower. This morning, we're back on Lake Hartwell chasing hybrid and striper. We have got a tank full of bait and a tank full of fuel. Come on, let's go fishing. All right, we got four rods down. It's a waiting game now. That's a nice one there. That's a true striper. No hybrid. Solid lines. That's a nice one. You can throw them in the ice chest. Uh, they won't survive this time of year. Uh, the exhaustion kills them, so we ain't gonna throw them back. Catching 
another good one. Water boy, damn! That thing jizzed all over the ice chest in the boat, didn't it? There's another one in the ice chest. That the party that's going to take these hogs, they drove down this morning from Hickory, North Carolina, which is about a three and a half hour drive one way. They gonna meet me here. They gonna follow me down to the property. Once we get to the property, they'll jump in old white and dirty with me and we'll go on down to the trap and get some hogs. Y'all come on, go with us. Don't hesitate, squeeze the moment you get it in the crosshair. There you go. Good shot. All right, we've got these hogs put down and they are now in hog heaven. The folks that came down from Hickory, North Carolina to get these hogs, they've been here before, they've taken hogs before. But what I didn't know is they have guests come uh, with them. The guests, they're from California. They've never done anything like this before. And it's my honor and my privilege and my pleasure to show them how this is done. And not only that it's done, it's necessary because these hogs tear these pastures up that these crops are grown in. They run other wildlife off and they decimate the food resources that all the other animals eat. They don't call them wild hogs for nothing. Um, so we got them put down. We're going to load them up here in just a bit. They're going to take them back with them. They're going to process them themselves. They're going to feed their families and their communities with these hogs. So as I've told you before, it's a win, win, win for everyone involved. And I'm just very happy and pleased that these hogs go to people who will actually use them to feed themselves and their communities. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you for the experience. All right, I am truly honored. They invited me back here to one of their uh, local relatives' house where they're gonna clean and process these hogs. They're even gonna let me do some recording. 
They're around back getting set up right now. Come on, let's go around back. So we feed like, for example, he has his in-laws, his family, he has his wife, uh, side of family, his side of family. There's like a good, 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 30, 40 of them. Okay. Uh, it's my father-in-law, he has his family, like another 30, 40 of them, his brother, his, uh, what is it, his um, sisters, the kids, the grandchildren, about like 30, 40 of them as well. And then me, I'm taking some to California as well. And then I'm gonna have a feast there too. I'm gonna prep it, cook it, and then I'll probably send a video to Tommy, let him know that, hey, yeah. this, is, this is who I feed, these are the people. I have like, I'm over there, I'm a, I'm a clan leader where oh, I'm at. Okay. So I feed about oh, wow. average okay, like over 100 okay. people. Really, okay. On a daily basis, like on a daily. Right, right. <laughs> This is the family. Thank you so much for uh, all the hog yesterday. This is the family that we're feeding. And we are uh, we ready to cook uh, for breakfast. And uh, this is the family that we're feeding with uh, the food, uh, the hog yesterday that you donate to us. Thank you. Much appreciated. And then we cook into this style right here we got plenty of food and this is my family here that we're feeding okay. so thank you very much man that was a cool experience uh watching them clean the hogs and uh, do it the way they do it in their uh, traditional cultural ways it's a lot different than what I, the way i clean the hogs but uh, that's okay it still works and it's their way of doing it uh, i learned a lot from it so thank you peter sam yang uh, sung pan thank y'all so much for letting me be a part of that and thank you the viewer for clicking on the video is because of you guys that I get to do this and make these videos. Thank y'all so much. If you haven't already, won't you please uh, reach down and click on that subscribe button. Make sure you share and like the video as well. Y'all know how it goes. Until I see you on the next one. Hee honk!